cried over a stupid little dog. <laughs> and what'd your woman say when she found it? Did she cry too? Did you cry together? Man! Tell me what the fuck? We could they don't talk, man. Now we gotta squat. What's up with glass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power, Book 2 Ghosts, and this one right here is titled, The Death of Ellie Explained, Little Ghosts and Tiny Tommy. Now, basically what I will be covering in this particular video is I kind of touched on it on my last video um, on my episode 8 breakdown you know trailer breakdown um, pretty much touching on um, a parallel that um, that ha that goes on between Brayden and, and Tariq um, with um, Ghost and Tommy but also is um, also connected with the depth of Ellie as well so I decided to go ahead and put these two together and make a video. So basically, like I said, I will be explaining how I, in my opinion, the death of the L will happen. Also, how we will get the new version of Ghost and Tommy 2.0, AKA as Zion called them, Little Ghost and Tiny Tommy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this video. Now, first up, um, I put in the episode 8 synopsis because it's very relevant to this particular video because at the bottom it explains something that's very significant that's relevant to this video. It says, an incident with Braden's relationship with Elle sends him off to the deep, sends him off the deep end. So, um, basically, it's um, telling us that something major is going to happen with L, right? And Brayden is going to go crazy about it. And I think this is what we're going to get that's going to really just send him to the next level. That's going to, like, transition him over to the Tommy side of him. Because you know they've been building this up for quite a while now, right? So, who knows? That could have been very much how Tommy was. I guess we won't really know until Origins hit, right? But, um, yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, more in, more into it. Um, so, as we know, when we first met L, L was already doing coke when we first met her because uh, when Braden was speaking with her I think the second time of him meeting her yes the second time she was um, she was sniffing uh, a little coke then and then she offered him some and of course he did partake so ever since then they started kicking it and uh, they eventually developed a relationship but in episode 6 Braden was starting to get a little out of hand because he decided that he thought it would be a good idea to walk on stage while Elle and her crew was performing and hug all over her, which is crazy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he didn't think that it, the issue was too bad, but apparently he was very much wrong because as we saw in episode seven, Stokely paid a visit to both Tariq and Brayden, letting them know that they're fired from the group and they knew that he was pushing coke, they've been pushing drugs um, through they, um, you know, all throughout they, um, they performances and stuff at, cl and at, at clubs and other colleges and things in that nature. And basically Stokely was like, they, it was a group decision and they said they didn't want that stuff around. Now, we all know that L uses drugs, so that would be an issue for her because you know Braden was breaking her off. 
So in my opinion, the only way I can see L possibly letting this fly is another dealer is in the running. So in my opinion, I think Stokely possibly know another person. He was like, look, I know another person who can supply you with just as good and he won't be all in the video, all up on your stage and still trying to be in your video. If you want that, come to that, that glass nigga that he talking about. On some shit nice. <laughs> anyway, though, I believe Stokely is probably going to pitch the L that he has somebody else that can replace them if you just need your, own, your fix, right? And in my opinion, that guy will turn out to be this ugly ass nigga right here that they are pulling up on like Birdman at the Breakfast Club. So, in my opinion, I believe they're going to press this guy because... Because I believe this is... L will end up in the hospital. As you can see, Brayden is... Um, Brayden is... Um, at the hospital with someone. And we can't really see who it is, but it looks like we may can see the hand a little bit. And in my opinion, I think that's a black hand. So I want to say it's safe to say that that is indeed L that is in the hospital because she had some kind of maybe near overdose experience. And who knows, maybe she won't even make it. But the point is, is that it happened. Making uh, Brayden furious and want to go after the person who is responsible for this, right? But real quick, I want to touch on the parallel that I was speaking of because it's going to be relevant so y'all can get an idea of what this scene that's about to take place and at least I believe it will take place. I'm almost positive it's going to be something like this. Um, that's going to take place and Brayden is going to go savage mode. But anyways, remember this scene here. This has come from season eight. I said season eight, goodness gracious. Season three of the original power. And this is episode eight. And um, pretty much they, they capture Hugo because... He was, he was the, the mole, well, he was the link between the mole that they were seeking because someone in Angela's office was, you know, was basically communicating with Lobos and they were trying to find out who it was. So the person who had that, that had that phone, you know, was contacting Hugo. So they captured Hugo. Now, if you can remember, Hugo was bad mouthing um, Tommy, saying he cried over the, the a little dog, and he was like, "What about your girl? Did she cry too?" And of course, Tommy lost it and smoked him, right? And um, of course, you saw that at the beginning of this clip. That's the reason why I posted this clip at the beginning, so that you guys can get an idea of exactly what I'm talking about and the scene that's part that will be similar to that will transpire in episode eight. Um, but yeah, so and then shortly after he smoked him, of course, Ghost didn't like it. He was like, Tommy, we could have made him talk. Now we don't got stit because you can't F and control yourself. And then, of course, Tommy replied, I can control myself just fine. That had to go. Tell your itch to to to, to not to talk if he if they step to her. I'm getting out of here, and I'm keeping this gun. So I believe something very similar to this will take place in this next episode. So. Now, you see, we got Brayden, he has the same clothing on, but he looks like now he's very frustrated and looking like he's about to lose it. And you can see Tariq in the background, he's speaking to him. And I believe he's telling Tariq 
a little bit more details of everything that's going on, how he's feeling. And if you really pay attention, Tariq really don't do things too much unless it benefits him in some kind of way. And like Tommy said in episode five of season five, loyal to your own, only to your own cause, just like ghosts. So that's how Tariq is. So we see here that when Braden goes to, to um, approach the guy, confront the guy that I believe is responsible for putting L in the hospital, because like I, like I told y'all, I believe Stokely may give her a new plug, right? And this guy probably is going to give her something with laced or it's going to be stepped on really bad. It's going to mess her up, right? And Tariq's incentive of coming, the reason why he's coming is because Bad business, bad drugs equals bad business for him. So this affects him as well. That's why he's tagging along. But he, but it, I, it could, it more than likely is deeper than that as well because it seems to me that Tariq wanted to just, you know, interrogate this guy and get some information on him. But in my opinion, I think. When this guy is possibly going to say something that's going to piss Braden off, whether it is he's going to say that he had a sexual relationship with L or he did something foul. And I believe this scene here is when Braden will lose it and he will explode and unload multiple shots into whoever this guy is, just like we seen Tommy do. There is the parallel. And it gets even more deep because you see this. Tariq has on, this is the same clothing. They're in the same place. So Tariq looks very frustrated. Very similar to how Ghost was after Tommy smoked Hugo. Right? So in my opinion, I believe right after Braden smokes this guy, Tariq will have a very similar moment like, Dang it, Brayden! You couldn't just you couldn't just leave the man longer alive long enough so we can get the information, bro. Like, what are you doing? You, you know, I can just see him. I can see it now. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be so angry, and then Brayden is probably gonna be so pissed. He'll be like, I don't give a damn, Reek. I'm tired of living things the way you saying to do. He had to go, similar to how Tommy told goes. And I believe after this, you're going to see a totally different Braden, people. Like, that Braden to just go along with everything Tariq says, I believe he is gone after this episode. He's going to do what Braden wants to do, and he's still going to be cool. You know, he's still going to be cool and loyal to Tariq, perhaps, but he's not going to be just falling behind everything Tariq says. And it could be because Tariq has something to do with L. Remember, I made a video about that. I'm not going to really get too too deep into that. But, yeah, I can see them possibly really getting into it to the point that they're on the brink of not being friends no more and becoming brute enemies, right? But pretty much overall, that's all I got for y'all as far as this particular video. Definitely looking forward to seeing what y'all have to say in these comments. Could y'all see a Tommy and Ghost 2.0 taking place in this episode, a parallel where we see Braden Smoke, whoever this mysterious guy is, and Tariq being upset with him because he was planning to get information from him. Let me know how y'all feeling about this particular theory and prediction, but um... As of now, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends, but until the next video, I'm out.